Good morning everyone. My name's Carol and Lisa has asked me if I can have a look on my shelf to see if there's something that I can talk to you about this morning. So I will have a look but before we do let's start with a greeting. The Lord be with you and also with you. So I can have a look on my shelf. It's quite easy I just need to turn my chair around because my shelves are really close. So let's see what I can find. I've chosen this. This is my little teddy bear called Gregory. And Gregory is very special because Gregory was given to me by a family friend, family member, um, before I went on a pilgrimage to the Holy Land. So while I was out in the Holy Land, Gregory reminded me of my friends and my family back at home. And now, as well as still reminding me of those people, he reminds me of the time that I had in the Holy Land. And he came on all the adventures with me that we had. And I might tell you about some more, um, perhaps another day. But one of the adventures that we went on was on the Sea of Galilee. We went down to the shore and were taken onto a boat. And it was called a Jesus boat. The reason that it's called a Jesus boat is that it was made in the same way as the boats would have been made when Jesus was alive and it looked like one of the boats that he would have seen on the lake and that he would have been on. And so we set off across the lake and it was a beautiful day. It was a lovely sail out into the middle of the lake and you could see all the countryside around you and it wasn't too cold even on the lake it was very very pleasant and we got to the middle of the lake and we stopped and it was there that we had a service in the middle of the lake of galilee the sea of galilee on a jesus boat and as part of that service we were told a story and that's the story that i'm going to tell you now one day Jesus was standing by the lakeside teaching the people but the crowds were crowding in on him pushing against him and he saw that there were two boats by the side of the lake and the fishermen were there mending their nets so he asked one of the fishermen if he would take him in his boat and row him out just a little way so that he could teach the crowd and that's what he did and Jesus taught the crowd from the boat. When he'd finished teaching he said to the fishermen row out a little bit further and put down your nets and we'll catch some fish. But the fisherman who was Simon said to him but master that's what we've been doing all night and we didn't catch any fish but if that's what you want that's what we'll do. So he rowed out further into the centre of the lake and put down his nets and very soon they were filled with fish and they tried to pull them back on the boat but there were so many that they couldn't manage so they had to ask their partners in the other boat to come and so their partners from the other boat came and tried to help them and they pulled in so many fish that it filled both boats the fishermen were surprised and astounded and they rowed back to the shore and they told Jesus of their surprise and Jesus said to them from now on you will be fishing for people instead of fish and once they got to shore and they pulled their boats up on the shore that's exactly what they did they left their boats and they followed Jesus It seems that Jesus was quite good at noticing things because he noticed that those fishermen were sitting by the side of the lake mending their nets. He also noticed that they probably weren't very interested in what he was saying. He also noticed the boats that were there. And even though that he was busy telling stories to the crowd 
he noticed those fishermen just sitting and mending their nets. And I think that that gave him the idea that the water would make an ideal place to speak to those people from. So he asked them to row out. He'd also noticed that there were no fish around. And so once he'd finished, he said to them, go and catch some fish. Of course, they, they didn't really want to do that because they'd spent all night doing it, but because they respected Jesus and because Jesus was a holy man, they did what he asked. And they went out into the middle of the lake and of course they had this miraculous catch of fish, too many fish for one boat to cope with. And from then on, they followed Jesus as his disciples. So Jesus noticed what was going on. I wonder how good you are at noticing things. I wonder how many of you noticed that my teddy bear was wearing something. You think what he had. What he had on a badge. He's wearing the badge of the travel company that I went to the Holy Land with. He wore that all the way into the Holy Land. He's worn it ever since, so he's had it on for a very, very long time. Did you notice that he was wearing a badge and wonder what it was? I wonder how many of you have noticed what colour his ribbon is that's round his neck? You noticed he's got a little bow on his neck. What colour is it? Have a think. Mm. Shall we have a look? It's sort of a reddy, burgundy colour. It's a dark red colour. It's important to notice things, isn't it? It's important that we look around with our eyes open and see what's around us. Jesus notices things. He notices, he noticed the fishermen and the fish, or the lack of the fish. So when you go, around whatever you're doing today. Take extra special notice of things and perhaps look at things that you've seen lots and lots of times, but there might be just something about them that you've never noticed before. And have a careful look and see what you can see. Perhaps we'd like to pray today about asking God to open our eyes to the things that are around us so that we really see and notice just like Jesus did. And I thought it'd be good if we did our prayers on a fish shape. Now, I'm sure that you can make a fish shape to do your prayers. All you need is a piece of, a rectangle of paper. You can see I've already drawn on this one. A rectangle of paper that you fold in half. And then what you need to draw on it is, if you draw a big smile, from one side to the other, and then just draw a line across like that. So that's the folded edge. Draw a big smile and a little line across. And then either you, or you might need to ask an adult to cut it out, cut up there and all around the smile. And when you do that, you will have that, which opens out into a fish. I thought you might like to make one or two and you can make them big as sm or as small as you want and write your prayers on the fish and then you could pin them up or maybe if you could find a piece of net you could even make a little display that you could take back to school with you when you go with your prayers asking Jesus to help you to notice things around just like he did when he was on the lake. So let's pray. Lord Jesus we thank you that you see all that is going on around us. Help us to see as well. Help us to notice those little things that are important and to know that you notice the little things that are important in our lives too. Amen. Well, 
it's been really good being with you this morning. I hope you've enjoyed the story and I might pop up again on Off The Shelf sometime. Bye.